Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to start with a technology which is very much common nowadays for the web UI developers and here we are going to start working with the Bootstrap. Basically Bootstrap is a free tool which you can download from its official website and it's open source that means you can customize it as per your requirement. So it's as I said it's free and open front-end web framework. Front-end means it will be helpful for us for the UI development not for any server-side programming. It works along with the HTML and CSS means when using a core HTML and CSS you design a page you can actually work with this bootstrap to make your web UI even more interactive which will take lesser efforts because bootstrap is going to give you so much predefined CSS which you can directly use for creating a web page. Supports responsive web design. Nowadays as we know that people are relying more on the devices like mobile and tablets than a laptop or maybe any other bigger screen size alright. So whatever website or whatever web page you will design by using bootstrap you can actually make it responsive means you can predict or you can define different layouts for the different screen sizes and as the screen size will change the appearance of your website will change as well so that that's what this responsive web design means means for the different screen sizes your web layout will be different almost all latest browser supports bootstrap all right so this browser compatibility is again an added advantage so that it will motivate you to work with the bootstrap it is developed by mark otto and jacob thornton and the team at twitter they launched it 19 august 2011 and after that particular time this bootstrap has been progressively increase in the market and nowadays lot of web designers are actually using this tool for putting that in the web application. It is licensed under Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So this is about the introduction of uh, Bootstrap but if you want to learn this what all things you should know. As I said it will work along with HTML and CSS you should have not you should not you must have the good knowledge of html and css so that you should be able to apply the bootstrap in your web application development at the front end along with that if you have the idea about jquery and javascript that will give you an added advantage in the time when you will start working with the plugins so these are some basic things that you should know and why we should learn bootstrap because it is going to provide us some number of benefits like mobile first approach as I already said that here we can actually define the web page we can actually define the designing of a web page for the different screen sizes so basically we are also supporting the mobile alright and why this responsive concept comes into the picture because of the mobile applications alright so that any user if it opening my website in the mobile then what I want him to see to in a small screen alright because when you are working in a laptop you have a bigger area you can put the different things at a different place but on a small screen you should put the main thing at the top so how you want your page to display that will this mobile first approach will help us in the responsive web designing browser support as we discussed like all the latest browser supports the bootstrap so as i said it, it will be a collection of css classes so we know like all browser already supports the css and here we are just going to get the uh, predefined classes of CSS which we will use accordingly. Easy to start as it's just about HTML and CSS so you don't require any advanced thing to get start with the bootstrap. That means you can actually learn a very industry uh, demanding technology without much efforts in the beginning. And responsive design for the different screen sizes again that same thing will come for the different screen sizes this will help us out 
So basically, when you will learn this bootstrap, you will actually enjoy this and you will be able to design the different aspects of your web page in the, for the different screen sizes. So this is all about the current video. Now in the next video, we'll see how we can set the environment for working with the bootstrap and then after we'll start implementing the bootstrap in our web pages. That is all for this video.